to this week's edition of Music of Hope and Comfort. I'm Carl Bruni, organist here at St. John's Lutheran in Lombard, Illinois. Again this week, I'm joined by organist colleague and friend Paul Frazee, who just finished playing the introduction to uh, uh, America by Janet Linker, a very fine composer and organist from Columbus, Ohio. Um, she has written over 60 pieces and published that are published in various collections. Next, Paul will play variation number six, variation five, sorry, by Janet Linker from the same collection. been able to tell and will continue to tell is American musics, songs of patriotism and American hymns. Uh, the first piece I'm going to play is hymn number 966, Before You Lord We Bow. This hymn text was written by a very fine and well-respected amateur poet that you might have heard of. His name is Francis Scott Key. He was a practicing lawyer in Washington, D.C., and later became the United States Attorney General, uh, a district attorney. He died in 1843. His more famous piece of music that he wrote, or lyrics that he wrote, was the Star Spangled Banner, which you will hear later today in the program. This wonderful tune that I'm going to play is Darwell's 148th, who was first published in 1770 as a musical setting for Psalm 148 which of course we all know for memory. I'm joking, but you might want to read that wonderful psalm of praise. It's a great psalm in the uh, front of the hymnal. This arrangement is by Jane Wayne, J. Wayne Kerr, a Lutheran organist from San Francisco. The text of this hymn, number 966, which is the last hymn in our hymnal, reads, Before you, Lord, we bow, our God who reigns above and rules the world below, boundless in power and love. Our thanks we bring in joy and praise, our hearts we raise to you, O King. <laughs> Hymn is 763, When Peace Like a River. Uh, this hymn is by Philip Bliss, and here is arranged by the organist John Banke, who is the organist emeritus from Concordia University of Milwaukee. Uh, his church is also the one that burned down last summer. The text reads, When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whate'er my lot hath out taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul, plus a refrain on it. John, uh, the arranger, makes my left hand sound like a little river kind of rolling along.
next piece is hymn 805, Old Hundredth. The piece I'm going to play is called Introduction, Chorale, and Variation to Old Hundredth by John Zundel. This hymn tune, Old Hundredth, was probably written about 1551 by French composer Louis Bourgeois and has been very popular ever since. There are lots of sets of words set to this familiar melody. A very famous set of variations on this tune was written by the famous English composer Ralph or Rafe, Ralph or Rafe von Williams for, uh, for the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II in 1953. She's still the queen. Uh, that set of variations is occasionally sung by our choir here at St. John's. The arranger of this fine melody is John Zundel. He was a German organist, organ builder, who played the first organ concert ever recorded in St. Petersburg, Russia in 1840. Eventually, he immigrated to the United States hoping to become a concert organist, but supposedly was unable to find organs suitable for concerts or you know, suitable for his taste. Eventually, he had to settle in and become a regular church organist, and he was at Plymouth Church in Brooklyn, where he remained for 28 years. The same text is Praise God from Whom All Blessings Flow, which is by Thomas Ken and very familiar to all of us. John Zundel this summer, but it's too long for today. The next two pieces are by our American favorites that are not in our hymnal and were arranged by Ronald A. Nelson for 37 years as a music director at Westward Lutheran Church in suburban Minneapolis. He's a native of Rockford, Illinois, and grew up there and went to St. Olaf College. He is also a composer for our Divine Service setting number two in our Lutheran Service book, which we sing very frequently. The first piece is This Little Light of Mine was written by Harry Dixon Lowe's who studied music in Chicago at Moody Bible Institute and at the Conservatory, American Conservatory of Music. This often thought of Af as an African American spiritual, This Little Light of Mine, can be found in many hymnals. This song takes its theme from some of Jesus' remarks to his followers in Matthew 5, 14 to 16, which reads, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. 
Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it gives light unto all who are in the house. Let your light shine before other men, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. This song has been recorded and sung by dozens and dozens of people over the years, including the Kingston Trio, which is kind of from my era. Um, it was first performed uh, on David Letterman's show on their first program following the 9-11 disaster in New York City, and it was sung by Odetta and the Harlem Boys uh, Choir. <laughs> next one is Oh, When the Saints Go Marching In, and it was originally titled When All the Saints Come Marching In. It evolved around 1900, and no one seems to know who wrote it. The original version was very slow and stately, but over the years it has become more rhythmic and performed more quickly. This piece was first recorded in 1924, but the first famous recording was by Louis Armstrong, who you probably heard of, in Next hymn is number 749, There's a Bomb in Gilead, arranged by Sam Bat Owens. This text, the text of the first verse, which starts with the refrain, reads, There's a bomb in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There's a bomb in Gilead to make the sin-sick soul. Uh, sometime I feel discouraged and think my work's in vain, but then the Holy Spirit revives my soul again. Haven't we all felt discouraged like that sometimes, maybe during the pandemic? Here's an interesting fact for you. There's a place called the Gilead Sciences, which is the name of an American biopharmaceutical company in California, taking its name from the ancient medicine balm in Gilead. True story. Mentioned in Jeremiah 8, verse 22. They are working on a coronavirus medicine right now. So this is, there's a bomb in Gilead.
next piece, Simple Gifts, was arranged by Wilbur Held, who was 100 years old and was the organist for many years at Ohio State University. There are several stories about the origin of this wonderful yet simple tune. The most common one is it was possibly composed in 1848 by a member of the Shaker religious community in New England, which no longer exists. This tune was virtually unknown outside the Shaker community until this American guy named Aaron Copeland used it in his score for the ballet Appalachian Spring and was performed in 1944. Many sets of words have been used to set this lovely tune. It has been recorded by various arrangements by dozens of famous and not so famous artists and is used in, uh, in numerous movies. It just feels very American and patriotic. Simple Gifts by Wilbur Held. Hymn number 549, I'll hail the power of Jesus' name. This hymn text has been called the National Anthem of Christendom. The words are written by Edward Perrot in 1779. The most commonly used text uh, is the one that we use in our LSB hymnal called, uh, called Coronation by Oliver Holden. Holden was a carpenter from Massachusetts who fought in the Revolutionary War and later got into real estate in Boston. He joined the First Baptist Church there and became a leader and a choir member. This tune, Coronation, is said to be the earliest American hymn tune that is still commonly sung. The text of the first word reads, All hail the power of Jesus' name, let angels prostrate fall bring forth a royal diadem and crown him Lord of all, bring forth a royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. And anybody remember what a diadem is? If you forgot, a diadem is a type of jeweled ornamented royal crown, a kind of badge of royal authority, dating back to the era of the Persian kings, a long time ago. This arrangement for organ I am playing is by Hal Hobson, a rather famous living American composer who lives in Cedar Park, Texas. He has written and arranged several hundred pieces for organ and choirs, including many that are sung here by our choir at St. John's.
is the finale from the Star Spangled Banner by Charles Callahan, organist, music director at the Cathedral in St. Louis, and has written many pieces for organ. <laughs> Watching us, we appreciate your time. Appreciate Paul playing along with me. Appreciate Pastor Pete doing the recording and Rick uh, Schultz doing the editing of the thing. We look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you and have a great day. God bless. Who won last week's trivia question? Nobody won. Nobody. Last week. Nobody. Nobody. The answer for the trivia question last week was I am trusting the Lord Jesus, which has the the word trust in it eleven different times. Ha, 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 ha.